Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you how to provide extra steel rods to the distance of l by 4 so let's get start guys you can see guys this is one column and this is other column as you can see this is the other column so what is l l is the span between two rcc columns and l by 4 means clear span between two column divided by four so to the distance of l by four we will provide extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment as you can see guys this is junction between beam and column so here to the distance of l by four we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we will provide extra steel rods are bent up bar so guys you can see clearly it should not be less than l by four where L is length between two RCC columns or span between two columns. Suppose if the length between two columns is 20 feet, so L by 4 should be 5 feet. So to the distance of 5 feet, we will provide extra steel rods. As you can see guys, they provided three extra steel rods to the distance of L by 4. As you can see guys also, Look at here guys, extra steel rods you can see. Dia is 16 millimeter. From each side we will keep extra steel rods to the distance of L by 4. As well as to the distance of L by 4 we will provide stirrups closely compared to its mid. As you can see guys, we have 3 steel rods at the top, 3 at the bottom. Dia is 16 millimeter. Guys, you can see the hooks. Also, which is not proper because it should be provided on 135 degree. Spacing is not proper according to steel structural drawing. Guys, you can see clearly to the distance of L by 4, it should be provided closely. Also, when we need to provide lapping length, so in that case, we will also provide stirrups closely compared to normal beam guys you can see spacing should not be more than 150 uh, spacing should not be more than 200 mm now guys you can see also they did one of the big mistakes in the construction of this slab they provided on the top of this beam which you can say this is rcc top beam they provided here lapping length so this is not the place to provide lapping length as you can see on the top of the beam they provide it so this is also one of the big mistakes so don't provide the lapping length on the top of the beam so the lapping should be provided after l by 4 means to the distance of l by 5 you are able to provide lapping length guys you can see this is bent up bar to the distance of l by 4 guys you can see clearly our extra steel rods you can also use but crank bar or bent up bar is economical compared to extra steel rods guys you can see clearly spacing is 100 to 150 mm from 4 to 6 inches which is okay according to steel structural drawing only hooks are bent on 90 degrees so this is the one of the big mistake length of the hooks should not be less than 3 inches here you can see this is about 1 to 1.5 inches so this is not proper now spacing is okay die of stirrup is okay which is 8 millimeter for 16 millimeter longitudinal bars now guys you can see here also this is the junction between beam and column you can see also here guys they provided the lapping here so this is not the proper design for this rcc slab so what you learn here in this video so you can comments below if you need any kind of construction site video so you can comments in comments box hope this video can help you thank you